Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. We have another 2020 GTS radio in to be unlocked, flashed, activate CarPlay and Android Auto without the addition of the WIM. Somebody reached out to me and asked me why we uh, keep the factory radio on a lot of these bikes. So most of the bikes we do, including this brand new 2020 here, we keep the factory radio on for a bunch of reasons. A, the fit and finish is beautiful. No gaps, fits perfectly. The radio is weather resistant, so you can get it wet. Um, it's covered by the factory warranty. Then we use the DSP on every single bike that we build. So since we use the DSP, we don't need a head unit that has RCA outputs or built-in EQ or crossover features because we're gonna defeat that and set it all flat anyway. Since we use the DSP, we get these factory radios to sound as good or better as an aftermarket radio. 90% of the bikes we do have a factory radio. Both my competition bikes have the 2020 GTS radio on them and they sound amazing. So if a shop's telling you that you have to switch the radio to get good sound, that's just not true. And a lot of these guys are running the Dayton DSP, the Ground Zero DSP, the AD DSP. What these DSPs have in common is a lot of these clients are streaming Bluetooth directly to the DSP, so they're bypassing the factory head unit anyway. So if you're going to stream directly to the DSP, or even if you feed master input and feed Bluetooth into the DSP, all three of these DSPs will allow you to use your factory radio and switch over. If you can't get good sound quality from the factory radio, you can switch over to the Bluetooth audio streaming side and have a direct connection between your phone and the DSP. But uh, we're a big fan of the factory radio. We can make the factory radio sound really, really good. So if we're using a DSP that uh, we, we flash all these radios flat, so we get a semi-flat signal going into the DSP. And then after that, we, let's say we use an Artisan Bit 10 or Hertz H8 that has a mode when you initially set it up that continues to flatten the factory EQ curve and then it gives you really good usable signal to begin with. So with all the tools we have available in our arsenal, we can make these factory head units sound amazing. Plus the fit and finish is great. One of my favorite features of the factory Harley head unit is on the new one, you get CarPlay and Android Auto. It's weather resistant, but one of my favorite features is if you're low on gas and your gas light comes on, it automatically pops up the navigation, all the closest gas stations. So if you're on a low, long road trip, don't know where the closest gas stations are, as soon as your bike needs gas, the radio is going to tell you. On top of that, if your check engine light happens to come on, it automatically pops up all the local Harley dealerships on the navigation without you doing anything. Plus, you get all the diagnostics built into the factory screen. Okay, Let me show so you. this is the factory screen. So just by hitting the info button, it gives you oil service, distance traveled. This one gives you speed traveled, miles per hour. It's just a lot of information on the screen. But the most, most, most important screen feature is if you're putting an aftermarket radio, the screen is very reflective and you can't see indirect sunlight. So we're going to put a light directly on the screen. And I can still see. So this is 10 times brighter than the sun would ever be. And I can still see the entire display. That is not the case with any aftermarket, any aftermarket unit we use. The display comes completely unusable during the day. So that's probably the most important reason why we keep the factory head unit. 